So what's more iconic for drums than a song that starts with just the drums? So that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to look at the title track off of the album, The Florist. This song takes a similar approach to the previous track on the album, um, From the Tower to the Pit, in that the number of parts is a little bit reduced compared to some of the other songs on the album, but instead there's a little bit of, uh, say, variations that we go through. Um, so right off the, the beginning, I'm doing this thing on the toms, and I'm kind of go, be going between the, the floor tom, the snare, and I'm like pressing down the hi-hat a bit. And it's, it's a little bit reserved. I'm actually not doing a constant beat on the fourth tom. And then we come back around to this again afterwards. Um, and this is when we hit the bridge, we come back to this. And now I'm doing a constant, uh, constant fourth tom. And then we change it again. I drop out the hi-hat and go into double bass. So that kind of like helps kind of keep things a bit more interesting by, by switching things around a little bit. So I'm going to play for you a quick little sample so you can hear how that kind of changes over the course of the song. I do this sort of approach with one other section of the song as well. Um, I don't know if you would call this the post verse or is it a pre-chorus? I'm not really entirely sure. Um, but I do something similar where it's kind of like an A-B sort of part that's going on. And the first time through, it's, it's a little bit kind of uh, more laid back. Uh, and the second time that we do it is it's got some double bass added in. We actually do this three times. The second time and the third time are, are the same because why not, why not have it be different? Uh, because like later on, after we get into the course, then, then I, I do a change to kind of build it up further from there. So, so yeah, here, uh, like I said, this, this pre-chorus sort of thing, I have two variations here and um, I'm going to play for you that real quick right now as well. Just one last thing I wanted to mention, it kind of almost, um, an almost an amusing thing because sometimes when you're writing parts, um, you come up with something you weren't expecting. We were, it was originally, I was working on this with, um, with Bob, our, our bass player. He was showing me uh, the general song structure and the different parts that he, he was coming up with for this. We were working through it and we were getting towards the end of the song and I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do there. And I wasn't quite sure and I had this one thing and I thought it was almost like a little, I thought, is this too ridiculous? I don't know. So I just kind of did this one thing where I just, you'll see at the end of the song, it's double bass. And then I'm doing this alternating between the, uh, the stack and the hi-hat. Um, but it seemed that it actually worked pretty well, and he, or at least, at least he seemed to like it. So we decided to keep it in. So that's just one thing to, to note. Sometimes when you're coming, like I said, when you're coming up with parts, um, sometimes unexpected things happen and sometimes, uh, you know, they're, they're favorable. Um, so with that said, here is the title track, The Florist. <laughs> 